All right, hello, this is Rachel Kalander reporting live from Arctic Frontiers. Excuse me, it's been a long day with jet lag for many of us here, uh, but I would like to introduce Jan Mostram, CEO of LKAB in Sweden. Um, that was a fantastic panel on some of the energy and mineral debates in the Arctic region. Um, what were your thoughts coming out of the panel? Yeah. It's really interesting and, and, and challenging issues. You know, mining in itself is, is uh, challenging wherever you are operating on the globe. And of course, if you are in the Arctic region, we have uh, challenges that are quite uh, exclusive for us, which I think it's time for us to, to really address. Mm. Yeah, so do you feel like in Scandinavia or in Sweden, the energy and mineral debates are differing from other places. Uh, you must work with colleagues across borders. Uh, no, I, I don't think so. But uh, of course, we have a an, an, uh, mature industry, which means that the expectations on the industry is extremely high, I would say, with uh, understandable. But uh, no, I, I, I think it's uh, a good opportunity to, to debate that and, and see this is probably the most efficient and, and uh, environmental best way of, of mining and, and how, how can we improve that and, and uh, duplicate it and use this knowledge and, and technology in a better way. Absolutely. I'm, I'm from Alaska where we also have uh, plenty of development but we've seen you know, the debate fluctuate based on where the standards are. Yeah, that, that, that's uh, actually that was one thing I, I addressed. Uh, the major challenge for us, us, I would say, that is the unpredic unpredictable uh, environmental permit process. We must have high standards, no doubt about it. But in, in some cases, the legal process has, uh, in, in, in one way or another, been more important than decrease the environmental uh, impact. And if you have an unpredictable uh, permit process, then it, it's, uh, it's more challenging to, to invest. You know, the capital intensity in mining is, is really high, which means that you, it, it, it must be more predictable than we have, the, have it today. Absolutely. I think that we've seen that um, in more countries than just Sweden, unfortunately. Canada and, and also in Alaska, so I, I, I have a good uh, understanding of, of the situation there, and it's, it's almost the same as here. Right, and, and it, are you facing in Sweden, like in other Arctic states, uh, similar challenges to um, mining extraction and the coexistence with environmental groups um, and, and with fisheries? Of course, we have a, a local debate on that, and uh, as I said on the podium, we do a type of, of um, a type of investigation of, of people living close to our operations, and we have a high understanding and, and acceptance of, on, on mining and, and mining activities and the impact. But of course, we have to take into consideration all aspects. Those who are in favor of mining is generally people that are working in the mines or, or working with different uh, contractors or, or suppliers to the mining industry. We have other stakeholders which yeah, we have to, to, to take what they say in consideration and, and, and also accept that we have to, to adopt those to, to expectations from all stakeholders. Right. And switching gears a little bit, I did a little bit of research just briefly on your company and saw that you're doing subsea um, mining. Is that the proper term? Sub no, we are not doing any oh. su subsea mining, but we are do doing a lot of deep mining. You know, we are operating the largest underground mines for iron ore in Kiruna and Malmberget. That's our main operations. We also have operations in... in uh, in uh, Svappavara, but we transport and, and uh, to the port here in Norway, in Norvik. Okay, maybe there was a bit of a language uh, uh, translation in, the, in, in what I read online. I, I did read that um, in the same article, which now I'm thinking could be false, um, that um, 
they made some example about um, your company can actually extract up to six Eiffel Towers per day was the, the, the figure that they used. Uh, but it, yeah, that's the fact. Uh, last year we produced 27 plus million tons of, of iron ore, but we are on a global uh, competition. We are roughly 1% of the total iron ore production. But in our market, the Seenborn pellets, we are number two. So uh, we are exporting from the ore fields in the northern parts of Sweden, mainly to Europe, Middle East, and, and some to United States. I actually think that sounds like a, a, a really high percentage. Um, it's quite impressive. So th thank you so much for your contributions on the panel, and, and enjoy Arctic Frontiers. Thank you, Jan. Thank you,